Well, hello there. So, a uh, couple fun things today, guys. Yeah. Had a little mail call, you might have guessed. Um, got some stuff. Um, I guess we'll start with the coins because, well, we love coins. Um, I got these little beauties. Yeah. Got these, uh, under melt at the time I bought them. Um, these are from Russia with love. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're from the United States, but they were originally from Russia. The seller was in the U.S. And they are the proof variety. They are 10 rubles. And uh, this one's from 1979. The Olympics. Um, very nice. Very lovely. And then this one's from 1977. And again, it's a proof. And I got them uh, both for $24.18 each. $24.18. And they are right at... Uh, 0.96 ounces, so almost an ounce of silver each. They're 90%. And uh, hold that thought. As it so happens, I have a few more of these. Um, so, may as well show those off too. We can talk about communism. And how I feel about it. So, uh, these I got off eBay. And, uh, very nice little hunks of silver. Even though they were made by commies. These I got from Bar Coins. Um,. They have a little website. You may have heard of it. M Bar Coins. That's it. Yeah, that, that, that kind of a thing. Now, I got these back when silver was under 20. Um, and I don't know. Some of it I overpaid for. Some of it I didn't. But uh, here's some more of those Olympics coins. This one costs fourteen dollars. You got realize the minages on these were minuscule. Got that one for eleven fifty. It's the ugly one, but you know what are you gonna do? Yeah, one hundred fifty thousand of these coins exist on some of these. That's not a big mintage, guys. Small. Well, the commies, they can't make a lot of coins, can they? The, the, the communists. And who got the coins? Did they give it to the people? Did they spread the love? This one was pretty expensive at 1568 But you'll see where that money value went when you see the coin. There's what I paid for it. Yeah. So, you know, 1568. My point is, is these coins, when spot was down, they cost a certain amount. And when spot's up, they still cost a certain amount. We're going to go faster. 1407. They're all in the original capsules. This one was $22. So, when I bought this, silver was going for $20 an ounce, roughly. It, the spot price was like $18, but silver, you couldn't get your hands <clears throat> on silver. Unless you paid $20 an ounce plus. Because, you know, the spot price and the physical price, they aren't the same thing, guys. I don't know if you knew that. A lot of people will sit here, they'll toot their horns, they'll tell you, hey, it's the same price, don't fool yourself. Well, you tell me back in March, when silver hit 11-something, 
How many ounces you got at 11 something? And I'll tell you exactly what's going on. Now, I want you to go out right now and find silver under melt, which is what I did right here. It's not a thing you do often or easily. Okay. Yeah, that got a little loud. So yeah, we're not gonna find silver at that price, okay? And if you do, you're lucky, all right? So that wasn't all of them though, because you know, too much is never enough for your old addict buddy, Josh. So we're talking about commies, sick moxes, and the utopian fantasies. Then we got to talk about this guy. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, 1979, never looked so good. So I believe, yeah, let me get you a number on this. So I bought all these, these Rusky 10 rubles. Um... For two hundred seventy-one dollars and sixty-four cents, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thir twelve of them. So, twelve and two seven one six four comes to twenty-two sixty-three per coin. Twenty-two sixty-three per coin. Um, at the time I bought it. So it was like 18, so fair premium on that. But look at me now. Okay. Again, these, these minages, they're not big, guys. You know, and these are these are proofs. Proof coins. 150,000 made on most of these. Yeah. Yeah. Exclusive communist commie coinage here the boxing the boxing because they don't have any bread they're hungry they want to fight now there's a loaf of bread back there you see it they're hungry the commies they're starving but they're making pretty silver coins and selling it to foreigners like me yeah this one they're trying to fish yeah the fish, they've all gone sour from the nuclear power explosion. But yeah, there he is trying to get a fish. He's trying to bag one, folks. I want you to watch that. I want you to see. But isn't that back? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Look at all that wheat. Where was all that wheat when all them folks were starving in Kiev? Tell me about that wheat when they told the farmers not to farm. Because, you know, they knew better. Look at that. That's cultural appropriation. Communists culturally appropriating Eastern culture. I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me put it the right way. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's like Aikido or Judo. I'm showing my ignorance here. But, yeah, they're fighting over who's going to get to uh, eat tonight yeah winner take all choke them out choke them out get them all right okay they're selling away from russia <laughs> they're selling away yeah they're, they're crossing the baltic they're trying to get into sweden norway finland anywhere but mother russia run away Yep, there it is, folks. There it is, that good communist silver depicting the beauty that was the USSR. Yeah. Okay, so that's Moscow. Lovely, lovely Moscow. All right, that's, that's a copy of the one we got today, isn't it? Huh? Same coin. This one's got a little toning. How you guys feel about toning? They got to atone, the commies. Atone for everything they did. Oh, sorry, I'm getting excited. There's still people out there talking about Marxism. Like it's good. You just look at these coins for a reminder. 
Look at that, 1980. Still starving. Still hungry. They're celebrating because they get to eat tonight. For great victory. Let the food and festivities begin. We got a can of sardines. Hallelujah. All right, what we got here? Hmm. Looks like volleyball. I, I don't have much to say about volleyball. It's it's a fun sport. It's a nice sport. I did I didn't know uh, I didn't know men played volleyball. You know, but it must be a Russian thing. No, I'm just kidding. Volleyball is fun for everyone. Everyone. Um, these must be elites playing volleyball because who else could afford to in Russia? I mean. The ball, it has to be inflated. They can't even get a loaf of bread back then. They're starving. These must be the children of the the government workers, the the elites, the the communist powerful, the brainiacs who brought us all that suffering. Ooh, what we got here? Huh. In the middle, there's an explosive. They, the joke's on them. They don't know that. But yeah. Boom, baby. Boom. It's over. And that's how you, you end the starving crisis. You lower the population, right? It only stands to reason. So yeah. Extreme. Extreme tug of war. Guys. That's it. That's all my Rushkis. All my commies. I mean, I got other communist coins, but that's all my... You know what? That's not true. I got some other Rushki stuff. Hold on. All right, I'm just showing the commie stuff, guys. I'm just showing the commie stuff, all right? I'm not going to go into the stuff that ain't commie, all right? We're not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to pull out one of these darlings. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Because that was before the commies. That was back when, uh, you know, Russia was about uh, being an empire, like everybody else. I'm not saying empires are good. I'm just saying they're not commies. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Don't you know? Take what I say with a grain of salt. If you like commies, don't don't watch my channel. It's okay. Give me a thumbs down. All right, here's some commie silver. Huh? Eh? In 1924. The commies came. Yeah. Look at that. And the Rushkis, they loved it at first. You know, it's like, woohoo, we've been we've been saved. But then the hard times came. The hard times started to come and the silver the silver content of the coin started dropping precipitously. You know, it happened everywhere else, but it happened in the communist countries so much faster. Because, you know, you gotta you gotta make more money. The the central government's planning everything. Well they care about inflation. Why would they? Yeah. So you know, what do you get? You get mass starvation is what you get. Yeah, here's some more of these uh I got, I got several of these things right here. Little cat here. Look at that. It's real nice. They started out nice. These are 90%, guys. They started out pretty. But then it just, it went, it went wild. It went crazy. Here's another early example. I mean, they're cool. That's why I get them, you know? I think they're cool. They're interesting, you know? Kind of neat. In a, you know, in a sick way. In a sick way. Sick! <laughs> uh, got a couple more of them uh, Anvil deals.
No, some of these are in better shape than others, guys. You know, they're they're a hundred years old almost. Okay. So yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at my Rusky coins. Uh the communist block edition. I think I got another one here. I got another I think I got another silver Rusky Kami coin. I feel like I do, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, here it is. I knew I did. I knew. I know my hoard. So this is my last Kami coin to show you. And if you don't see what's wrong with Kamis by looking at this coin, I don't know what to tell you. Here it is. By 1926, the coins are looking like this. It wouldn't be long after that there'd be no silver in the coins at all. They'd just be mass producing garbage. A theme they kept going for a long time. Although it's nice. I think it's a nice coin. Nice. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's it's nice. I think it's you know, symbolism's important. And they had nice pretty symbols. You know, but hold on. Real quick, gotta be fair. Which one's nicer? Which one looks nicer on the eye here? I'll tell you what my pick is. Huh. I mean, you tell me in the comments which one's nicer? Which hunk? of Rushki Silva would you rather have in your stack? Hmm? Have an amazing day. I hope you find all the knick-knack, patty-wax, give a dog a bones and uh, miniatures of your dreams while you're awake. And I do have another video I'm going to make because I've decided to do a two-parter here. I didn't realize I was going to do that, but here it is. Next, we're going to open up some pre-made magic decks okay and uh, all the cards are on the side so there's no surprises on this one but i'm gonna have a discussion about that thanks for watching have a great day